Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to this topic of login shell. So what is this topic all about? So when we create a new user, a shell is assigned to the user. So let's see the user creation process one more time and let's look at the shell. Okay, so let's go to the system and let me open the password file. Okay, let's take this example, the bottom one. Okay, and let's paste it here. Okay, now if you look at this particular example what you will find is that this is the shell that we are talking about here okay so this is your login shell so when the user logs in he will find this particular shell okay so this is the shell that will be given to the user the moment he logs in into the system and to see which are all the shells which is available in the system let's look at this particular file called etc shells so you can look at these are the different shells which is present in the system but the most important of them is the bash, the CSH, the KSH and SH. So these are one of the most important shells which is which will be used and if you want to find out which shell you are in, okay what is the shell you got you can just type this command called echo dollar shell it will tell you that this is the shell that you got let's say that for this user test 4 okay we will do su dash to simulate the user and if we look at the shell here just type the same command echo dollar shell you will see that this is the shell that he gets in okay so the shell is a command interpreter and the traditional is slash bin slash sh but the most common ones are bsh and csh so bash and basically this is a bond shell Okay, so that is about the shells. So just to recap these shells, so the most important ones are the bond shell, the con shell. okay then you have seashell okay so for bond shell as we have seen slash bin slash bash con shell is ksh Seashell is CSH and by default he gets a shell which is the SH which is the traditional default for any Unix. Okay, so slash bin slash SH. Okay, but these are the most common ones that is used extensively. So 
shell is it's like a command interpreters so whatever commands that we are learning we are using this is understood by this command interpreter okay and we have seen where we can find the list of all the shells in the system that is there in the file called slash etc slash shells folder okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular topic thank you for joining me and have a nice day bye bye